Uh, somebody wants to race over to you. They want to get on their their uh, rainbow road, if you will, and skedaddle. This is about love. This is about somebody that's watching you from afar. And they like what they see. They see being with you as detoxing from negativity. You're a protected source. Your energy is very missed when you leave a room. You're healing. You're... Okay. Somebody sees you as a parental figure. Or as a big brother. So you guys, it resonates. This is a reading about how much people look up to you. This is a reading about the impact you're giving people in their lives right now. Because depending on how this resonates, you've either taken on some form of big brother role, big sister role, parental role, even a sense of just a adult figure. But it's, it's a sense of being a role model for sure. That's what the energy and tenacity is. And you're doing a phenomenal job. Spirits, like, you are you have no idea how much you've already changed in this world. You have to understand already the pain that you went through. You have made it to where certain individuals will never have to experience that level of pain that you have. They'll still experience pain in life because it's part of the, the human journey. But you've already won. You stated if at least one person doesn't have to go through a cycle repeat or doesn't have to go through a lesson, I did. If I can make one person skip some steps and learn, hell, if I can even make some people never even have to get in the position to begin with where they feel that pain, I won. And you've done a lot more than one person, let me tell you that. This is a reading about you seeing how much people look up to you and why you're deserving of it and why you have blossomed in this past year. There are certain individuals who They felt, it, it's so much more than one source that you are this positive influence for. A lot of people either have had a death of a parent in their life. Somebody that was taken far too soon. And you have came in like a wisp of air and been such a pivotal part of their upgrades and guidance and understanding life. There's people who go home also to places where they don't feel seen or heard in more ways than one. You see, you're an overall influencer. Like you could possibly actually be a social media influencer. But when I say an overall influencer, I mean the adults in your life, the elders in your life, the teenagers in your life, the children in your life, the plants in your life, the animals in your life. You affect all energy. Where you go, life forms, is embraced. You see, every time you move closer to yourself, every time you show who you are, you have opened up this door for other people to feel seen and heard and not have to put on an act, a facade. And, and you've made people see what true strength is and that there's so much more than meets the eyes in this lifetime. When it comes to ones that are younger than you, the influence you give is showing that when things crumble down, it is the best place to start from the ground up, rising from the ashes. There are a lot of younger individuals who see the world so differently than the ones around them. You're a big 
positive influence on helping this person feed out the smoke and the destruction that they've already seen in their life. There is a sense of energy of spurting, of growing. Somebody's very inspired. This could even be if you are a big sibling. I'm starting to channel because it's so much into big sibling. So this really could be like you have also embraced this person's or person's career choice. It might be off the normal path and you're like, fucking do it. Go for it. I believe in you. So you, you, you literally show people no matter what, you make things happen for you, not to you. Your law of attraction is high vibrational and people see that happy things happen with you. You get that parking spot. You get the green lights. The sweet individuals. Things glide with you because you're high vibrational. When people aren't feeling imbalanced, when they have nowhere to look, they can call you. They can talk to you. You have to be either in a setting with a lot of family members where you have younger cousins or you have a friends who at this point their children are of like adolescent age and you're just such a positive influence. The ones around them, there's a lot of still domestication. That you've helped their parents and etc. even work through. They see how much you've helped also the adults in their life. You make it seen. You, you are somebody that with these, with these individuals, you're like, there's a time for clowning around and there's a time for being serious. And they respect the fuck out of you with that in between because you respect them. You don't act like you're above people. You treat everybody the same with respect. The individual tweaks you do it differently according if it's an old person, a person that's your age, a person younger than you, yaddy yaddy. But every single person you give this respect an undying ability to transfer like I know you are, go with me, like you're a human. I don't see you as just somebody in this existence. You're a human, you're an individual, you're a soul. I see you. People who feel like they're being discouraged. See, now we're going into young adults and to even people older than you. So you're, you have to most likely be in the age frame. They're being discouraged. See, now we're going into young adults and to even people older than you. So you're, you have to most likely be in the age frame of, I would say, like 20, 22, all the way like 42. You could, be, you could be older, could be a little bit less younger. But needless to say, then that means your energy is in, in that intensity really of like less than solidified. No more survivor mode. It's time to live. Individuals who feel like, man, I'm already, I'm just hearing an energy int intensity of somebody trying to be like, man, I'm about to be 30 and I'm having to change all my life. So the fuck what? That's the whole point of life. You should be happy. You should be embracing the fact that you did not settle. 30 is nothing. You have so much more of your life to live. You make people see things totally differently. Excited for their future. Everything in your past made you ready for this career, for this new opportunity. You shift, you flip switches for people. You're able to go in hermit mode as well. People, they really respect and honor and cherish the time being with you because you show how much you respect yourself in your time. You're a busy person. You have a lot of responsibilities. So when you make time for somebody, that's the thing they also see. It's like, even though it can be at times hard to stay in contact or have a continuous seeing, when you are in front of somebody, you're with them. And when you're talking to somebody on the phone, when you're in those moments, you're with them. 
It's not in one ear out the other. It's so valued. You show people like when you're in front of them and the way you look at them, they're like, I feel so valued and seen and like held by your energy. There is a past loved one definitely in this dynamic. Okay, I have a father. I have a father or at least a very, very strong mother who was like mostly here like default masculine, willpower, go-getter, out there. And they're very thankful for you. They're very thankful for you for taking on a role, even if it's just a small or big, no matter how much that you've taken on a role that they in their human 3D, in the human 3D existence can't do anymore. They're still there all the time, all the time protecting these sources, everyone involved. But you've taken, you've decided to take one of the instruments to make the song continue. You picked up an instrument that they had no choice but to put down. <coughs> You, they speak through you. There's times where like, you don't even know how you're, you're thinking or you're saying certain things or you know just the right thing to say when you're with these individuals. They also feel that. Even if it can't be verbalized, there's something about your energy they feel more connected to their father or that mother around you. Don't forget the importance in the small things you do. This isn't, this is a reading as like, this card is almost a step one for you because with how busy you are, you can forget how valuable even just a hello from you is. You spent a long time of your life, it's been long gone, but you spent a long time of your life not feeling seen or heard and believing your energy was not important. That a simple hello from you could change a whole person's day. Remember the importance of the small things. We can get so trapped up in the 3D world and our responsibilities that we can forget to stay in contact. They're, these individuals miss you. They miss you. This is, I'm here for you to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. You're doing an amazing, phenomenal job. But Spirit says you've been focusing a little bit too much on work. Or just comp like focusing so much on upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. Don't forget the small things, the small gestures. You have a lot of decisions that you've been making. And they're very proud of you. And you're taking those leaps to face when, front to the face when there's nothing in the 3D world telling you to do something. Only internal. And you're doing it. And it continues to work out. You continue to show spirit they can send you more opportunities. That you're trusting those leaps of faith. You've put a hole in, and that book is in the bookshelf. You've already pulled out a new book. You've been writing in it. You've been reading it. This father, this mother, this husband, this wife, however this resonates, is very thankful for you and wants you to know they protect your heart as well. Oh, you've always known that you're connected to them, but you never thought about how much they protect you as well. You've always just seen yourself as a communication between them. This past loved one wants you to know they protect you also, that you're just as important to them. They've been trying to tell you that for a long time. Whoa. Okay. So what else do we got with the Oracle cards? Take what resonates. Some of you could have. If you did know them, then it means that you just weren't very close. But for a lot of you, before you went into this dynamic with this person or these people, take it as it resonates. This person had died already. You've helped them unpack why things happened. You've, you've been that listening, that ear for more than one person. They want you to know anytime you've decided to take on that responsibility 
You have detoxified negativity. You have turned pain and sorrow into reason and understanding and passion. Do not blind yourself from how fucking beautiful you are. They want you, this person who has passed on wants you to know you can call on me when you need more help. This person encourages your, you to remember as much as you love other people unconditionally, you must love yourself unconditionally. You have done a really, like, it doesn't feel like you clown yourself anymore. You understand. Your heart, you have to be empowered by your own heart or you can't empower anybody else's. You've let go of hesitation and this person's also promoting you to like let go of believing that you're doing anything wrong by being that person that tells people what they need to hear, not what they want to hear and also being a listening ear. So many times you've had to go against the grain and be that voice of reason even when you weren't sure if this was going to make everything go to poop. This showed you what unconditional love is and more, more than just romance and family and platonic and everything. That resilience of who's worth unpacking the past for and who's staying. You've had so many examples in these recent times of who are my true ride or dies. And most of them have been family. Love has been a thing you've been you know, tackling and it's going great and phenomenal. But the biggest thing that you've really realized lately is you've unpacked who, who is my family? Who's, who's worth going the extra mile for? Who's worth not giving up on? Because you in recent times had a lot of tests you have passed and I like to call them more trial runs. The people in this dynamic that you're you're thinking about are those ride or dies, are those ones who give you balance, give and take, and truly appreciate you and your time. And they don't take what you say lightly. There could be Virgo somewhere in this placement. But the biggest thing I'm feeling with this card right now you've found the per you've found your community. You don't people please anymore. Your patience. And this person is stating that there is something in romance that they're bringing to your life as well. That they're guiding. Something's turning on. Okay, so now we're going to... We understand the impact you've put in platonic people and family in your life. Whoever this father or this mother or this husband, this wife, that's now protecting you because of the work you've done for the people in their life that are still here and still alive is bringing in, is flying in this not a new flame. It's somebody who was meant for you. You have a book to read together. I'm getting a humongous channel. It's like a conversation going on in my head right now between this past loved one, your inner self, and then this loved person's inner self. They're at a table. They're talking. Three flames. This is how a certain individual, romantic individual, sees you. This is separate energy. This is law of attraction. You seeing things clearly with a person but still feeling some stickiness and it's because only so much can be opened. You can only know you can only know enough when you're ready. Spirit will stop downloads 
or cause stagnation between two people if you are not ready for the information, if it's too much to take. But somebody sees you as very sweet and a team worker, that you allow yourself to unplug in and out of the world and you're not controlled by anxiety or fear. That you wear your heart on your sleeve, you're authentic. You don't deny or hide away from those normal human, human animations that we make of fear. Oh, that's interesting. The way it, it animates. You see actually why somebody's, when somebody's acting confident and it's actually just fear. This person feels like the love interest as they've seen you grow, as they've seen you change. One thing that has not left is that sweetness from you. This ability to be a goof, to encourage others, to take up as much space and make things special in their strength and vulnerability. There's somebody that has so much to say to you and it looks like this past one connected to all of those family members, all those people you've been that rock for, part of the team, taking on a role that is meant for you now in that dynamic. How all of that strength and how you've channeled and continued to keep your center focus has attracted in this romance. This person has felt your light, even though it hasn't been center focused on them. They've felt you upgrade and fill other people's cups and your cups being filled and you've, you've felt the change within them as well. We're all things pause and begin again. Both of your signs, like both of your, both of your guides are sending signs to each other that it's go time, that it's time to touch your hands. Embrace the vulnerability of each other in the world and not of the world. You're about to have a conversation and this person stating that I want to take this slow, but I'm ready. I'm ready to make memories and I smell baking. So maybe, maybe some form of baking, maybe you like to bake, they like to bake, or this is just, the smell of like holiday times. There's fruitfulness. This person sees that they see that they're perfectly imperfect and there's never a better time than now. And there's nothing to fear that you too are ready for a new. So your guides, this also one specific past loved one, your family members, the ones you're being role models for, the ones you're doing that listening ear for. <laughs> You've done all of it guided by spirit. Nothing's been in vain. And you've realized now, if things would have gone just like that, the way you always wanted to, you wouldn't be who you are in this moment. You wouldn't know the people you do. You wouldn't have seen the things you've seen, been the places you've been. You have mastered, like, even in moments, okay, of being like, I, like, fuck, what the fuck is going on right now? Even in those moments now, you're like, I've had enough confirmation previously that this is happening for a reason. And I just need to stay calm. And later on, it will make sense why things were weird right now. Or cycles. There's always going to be more answers. There's always going to be more time. But it feels like spirits telling somebody the school year is about to be over. The school year of this, of this lesson, of this 
vibration. You have a pop-up. You have somebody who's going to ask for more if you're already in contact, or if you're not in contact, you have somebody that's going to present themselves. This is a new, and you will be starting from foundation up together. Completely guided with a whole team by your side. All right. All right. Let's get it.